a very good morning all of you myself rupali naneka dasaraju from department of biotechnology ck thakur college new panvel autonomous today i am here to tell you about the topic classification of nutraceuticals now before jumping on the topic we should know that what are the nutraceuticals now nutraceuticals are a very important components which can be isolated which have a very important role for the functions of various kind of diseases as it has been seen in the proverb that let food be your medicine otherwise medicine will become your food we don't want that that medicine should become our food we want that whatever content we are eating that should be healthy enough and keep us healthy enough so nutraceuticals are been classified into different contexts what are they dietary fibers we have probiotics prebiotics pufa antioxidant vitamins polyphenols and spices as we know that in the indian house all of this content are the part of your food so last lecture we were talking about the dietary fiber in this lecture we will focus on probiotics let's see what are probiotics the probiotics probiotic is again a live microorganisms yes it is live microorganisms we do have normal flora now this normal flora is beneficial to humans this normal flora is basically going to help to aid a proper digestion lot of time we get diarrhea lot of time we have constipation issue lot of time people are suffering certain digestive issue they are been suggested to take certain kind of medicines which have bacterias that bacterias are healthy live microorganism but they are going to be health benefit to the human basically for the proper digestion they are coming as a part of probiotics now this probiotics are also known as good bacteria we are not giving bad bacteria but they are also called as good bacteria they are gut flora they are also called as gut microflora so to avoid the pathogens we need to maintain a proper gut flora for that probiotics plays a very important role this is going to enhance and restore our gut health gut microflora is very important for maintaining the health of our gut because the pathogens can overtake the colon it can overtake the stomach region part and that can lead to various kind of diseases for that we need to maintain the good bacteria into our body what can be the sources of that similar to the microorganism it could be a pre probiotic food it could be certain drinks it could be dietary supplements present so this could be naturally living bacteria doesn't mean that it is will be there in the gut itself you can consume it for the different kind of foods also it could be the part of different kind of your drinks also or either the dietary supplements also so probiotics are been suggested to improve your intestinal microbial balance let's see the next part that what is the thing for the probiotics you can see this flora this is a good bacteria flora very important for our gut health itself it is mandatory that firm not, not always all cases that the fermented foods are probiotic it could be a non fermented food also that could be a probiotic one but most of the time the fermented foods which you have at your home they do have the good or they are been also suggested as a probiotic on daily basis what you can consume you have yogurt yes when your stomach is upset our mothers our grandfathers or the other grandmothers or the home elderly person they suggest to take yogurt why yogurt because of lactic acid bacteria a good flora lot of lactic acid bacteria is in also been used for the production of dairy dairy kind of contents you have cheese you have yogurt you have buttermilk very good for your flora so probiotic bacteria are been studied and are been found in your fermented dairy products also now in this probiotic microorganisms as you know that they are friendly bacteria now this friendly bacteria what they will do why we are consuming why we need to that they are going to help us for the healthy digestion to digest we eat, we usually after having a heavy meal like parathas an oily stuff some of the people drink buttermilk why buttermilk buttermilk because it helps for the digestion and your absorption of the foods can also been improved with the help of this probiotic so you have yogurt 
you have buttermilk you have fermented food so there are a lot of examples to this so this are essentially sometimes this probiotic products can be applied can be present in your market as a part of food supplement what does milk give you a lactis again a good bacteria yogurt streptomonas thermophilus again a good bacteria then elk jonasoni again it is a part of your gi tract so what are this this will help us to improve our gut immunity and everything starts with our gut anything misleading to our gut not properly functioning we can lead to lot of diseases so it is very important to maintain our gut health so for that probiotics are one of the important essential part on your screen you can see yakul lot of people give the advertise for that it's again a health day categorizing as a part of your probiotics we can get the probiotics here they have written 25 billion of cfu strain colony forming unit they are the number of strains which are been present in that probiotic bottle when you consume it sometimes you have diarrhea doctor give you a sachet that sachets are important to be considering certain bacteria like bifido or a lot of other lactic acid bacteria which when we consume they give us a good health they maintain and restore it these are the certain contents and food which you have in the particular consumption on your day to day life you can have yogurt you can have kelfer this is again a foreign part of it you can have buttermilk you can have cheese again it's a dairy product fermented product so you can have that also you can have lot of other components which are been present and yakult is the most common example lot of people take yakult on day to day basis what are the characteristics features of this probiotics this can resist to bile acid also trying to uh try to have the improvisation in the gastric activity lot of acidity issue lot of people have adhesiveness it can adhere to the mucus lining which we have in the human cell lines antimicrobial property against the pathogens which are pathogenic bacteria thermo tolerant heat high temperatures and capability for to lessen the pathogen adherence if they are been attached to your lining the pathogen cannot do it so that's why probiotics should have this kind of they have this kind of characteristics again lab the lab is nothing but lactic acid bacteria it's a gram positive non toxic bacteria very very important for carbohydrate fermentation and lab lactic acid bacteria is genetically modified to produce lot of fermented products and lot of basically dairy products that is why lab is considered one of the most common microorganism used for fermentation and this do have one of the nutrition uh, nutraceutical product producing property so lab is very famous that is nothing but your lactic acid bacteria so again it can also be used as a food additive it can also having the activity of anti plaque agent it is also related to help us to confer the various health benefit against colon cancer arthritis and obesity so this kind of nutraceutical value probiotics can help us to maintain lot of gut health lot of other diseases and prevent lot of other diseases so this is again a photograph which is telling you about the probiotic and its overall kind of application it can help us to avoid travelers diarrhea you are traveling from one place to other you consume contaminated food and water you can get travelers diarrhea so probiotic can probiotic food can help us to maintain the gut health lot of intestinal microbial composition can be made immune responses can be uh, you can you can increase you can avoid the pathogens which are been present and that can overpower your uh, gut health that can be also reduced with this kind of probiotic application so this way probiotics plays a very important role in day to day life i hope so you have understood the second classification of nutraceuticals that is probiotic in next lecture we will study the prebiotic thank you so much all